Is this the one that her border came to? I have no idea. Did he come to the one in Goa? I think so. It, it, it looks familiar. But maybe they all look the same. So it turns out this was the one that Herobaldo came to and made famous. We didn't come because of that. We accidentally came here because we thought the one closer to us in Koga Lake was closed. But as you're gonna see, we re we regretted coming here big time. And here's why. Yeah. What? So guys, we are here at the Gao Turtle Hatchery, and it's so funny. This one is the one that Harold Baldo came to, but now she wants 200, how much does she want? 200,000? Uh -huh. Oh, Harold paid her 200,000. Yeah. But she's not letting us film as a result. But, so... She's but not letting us film with this camera. Okay. So well, we can film with the paid. phone, so Johnny, you can film. So I can film, but you can't film. Yeah. So well, she wants money for you to film? Why? Guys, this is the bad thing about donating or kind of making places famous. No, no, no. I, let me talk to her. Alright guys, I am leaving. I'm not going to support this place. This is the problem when people donate money and try to be nice is they suddenly think that they you know every foreigner every single person on the camera is going to come donate 200,000 rupees so literally she's she said if you want to film here you need to make a big donation too you know not necessarily 200,000 maybe i don't know what she's asking for but whatever it is it's crazy i'm like we're giving we're trying to give free publicity and tourism to the turtle hatchery because it's supposed to be a good thing but now I'm wondering if they're doing, just doing it for the money. So I watched Harold's video again, and it turns out that the father and the kids are very good people. It's just that that mom that is super greedy. So basically, yeah. we are willing to pay to see the uh, turtles. Yes. And we are actually willing to pay if they want to film. But it's 50,000. They want 50,000? They want 50,000 to us to see it. Harold, you've <laughs> spoiled them by paying them 200,000. Are you oh my kidding? God. Do you think Harold would have paid a bullshit? No, no, no. The, the, he, uh, Harold made a donation out of, like, to be nice. So this whole house, how, how many people stay inside? One. One. Six people. It's too small. You have to make, you have to build the house bigger out till here. Thank you. you need money. All right. I'll help you out with some for your, uh, for your, who's the boss? Who wants money? You are. It's you. Okay. Here's 200,000. Spend it well. Take care of the turtles and expand the house. Harold was trying to be nice to help this worthy cause, but <laughs> now they're just greedy people. Not just greedy, they're so fucking, sorry, they're so freaking stupid. Yeah. Here we are trying to promote Sri Lanka tourism and help people in our own country, point. right? No point to help people who don't want help yeah, yeah. but the they are so freaking short-sighted that they can't see that even though we're willing to pay and showcase what they're doing here, they're just like, no, we have Harold, so that's enough for us. Yeah. Unfreaking believable. Harold, <laughs> your donation money has ruined this place. <laughs> Goodbye. Good luck, okay? Okay, say bye. Please go. Good luck. So, uh, if you're gonna cut six turtles, don't come to this guy. And, and this bus almost just killed uh, Chihana Chanel out of nowhere. Driving to this one in Habo Habaradu. Yeah. Near Kogula. Close. Alright. This is the one we 
So the real funny kind of stupid thing is we would have been her first paid customers in over a month. And we didn't even ask for free entrance or like, you know, marketing budget to promote her place. We really just wanted to go as customers and film and promote her place. What do you think is going to happen? Still let us in. It's going to be hilarious. Okay, so no issues this time? No, we had to pay a um, thousand bucks, which is 500 extra per person, but it's totally worth it. They explain that it's because you know they haven't had a lot of guests and they want to like you know buy some food for the turtles, whatever. So yeah. that's fair. I'm, ha I'm happy to do that, it's very yeah. fair. Yeah. But they the actually only charged us 2000 for three of us. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. So it's very fair. I'm happy to pay the entrance fee. And I would have been happy to pay the entrance fee at the last place. Yeah. <laughs> it's not 50000 Yeah. And like, you know, if you're doing the math and you're like, oh, that's only $250, it's not that big of a deal. It's the principle. Like, why would we pay $250 to go into a turtle hatchery to promote their business for them? Like, I don't know. It's. You you guys can argue it out in the comments, but this is a terrible way for like people to do business. Where once they get a they get they get money from a foreigner, they just expect every foreigner to just give them money like for no reason. And Harold did it to be a nice guy, and he was trying to find like good causes. But and she said we don't need any more promotion because Harold's video is so big that they have guests from all around the world writing in and commenting. I hope those people will see this video and realize that she's now a greedy businesswoman and not you know someone who generally cares about the turtles anymore so luckily there was a bunch of other turtle hatcheries like this one just the next town over this was a kogula and we can check it out i'm excited so at least i get to see you show you get to show you guys some turtles today hey mr turtle fantastic turtle hello 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 oh thank you so much Okay. Ready for the tour, Shihan? This is the turtle hatchery here. We have buried a lot of sea turtle eggs here under the sand. There are seven different sea turtles in the world. Five of them here in Sri Lanka. Mm. In Sri Lanka, we have five out of seven in the world. They are green turtle, olive ridley, hawksbill, loggerhead, and leatherback. Mm. They all five elder turtles come to this beach in the night for make eggs. But everywhere, do you know? Uh, some wild animals dig in the eggs and eat like uh, mongoose, iguana, water monitors and also some people uh, they, they dig in and sell for eaters illegally so our team make a uh, night hut crawling mm -hmm. they collect the good amount of eggs before animals uh, poachers and bury here safely oh nice uh, around uh, 65 days to 75 days babies come out from the eggs mm -hmm. eggs hatch with the help of normal temperature when the babies hatch out from the eggs, uh, they are released into the sea immediately mm -hmm. uh, in the evening time, then they have a better chance in the sea to survive. Mm -hmm. Normally, Mama Turtle makes more than 100 eggs at a time. Mm -hmm. She comes three times in a year for make eggs. She comes every two or three years for the eggs, not every year. Mm -hmm. But she makes uh, over nearly 300, uh, nearly 400 eggs in a, in a season. Yeah. She makes a lot of eggs because survival rate very low. Yeah. Out of 100, it can be less than uh, 10, maybe 2, 3. That's nature. That's why naturally turtle mama makes so many eggs at a time. Yeah. The other animal lay only few eggs. Nature is so clever, balanced, mm -hmm. equal. Uh, the olive ridley turtle is the smallest sea turtle among them. The leatherback turtle is the largest sea turtle 
uh, in the world, they get 700 kilos, 3 meters long. They're very special little back there. 700 kilos. 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 It's 3 meters long. <laughs> it's almost uh, like almost a, a ton. Almost the same as me. Yeah. <laughs> After all the rice and curry, guys. <laughs> They're very special, they travel in all, all, all over the world. They go from here to Europe. Leatherback? Leatherback. Because of the jellyfish. Mm -hmm. The main diet jellyfish. They are doing a great service in worldwide. <laughs> they eat a lot of jellyfish, including poisonous jellyfish. You know, oh. some jellyfish very dangerous. By sting people, die, box jellyfish, blue bottle, they eat them. They control the jellyfish nice. population in worldwide, especially in Europe, mm -hmm. mainly in UK. But unfortunately, they're suffering on pollution because of the plastic bag quality. They can't use and eat them thinking jellyfish. Oh, yes. When they eat them continuously, they die without diet. So when the leatherback population declining, jellyfish increasing. That's mm. not good, yeah. Uh, they know the, the temperature dependent, there are sex determination. Temperature of the sand determines sex. Hot oh. temperature makes girls. Cool temperature makes boys. Really? Over From the same egg? Yes. Wow. Over 28 degrees it? centigrade. Yeah. No, no, the, all the eggs are the same, but the temperature that the egg is laid in will decide whether it's a boy or a girl. So in Sri Lanka, more girls. More girls. Over 28 degree centigrade sand temperature, girls. Below 28 degree centigrade sand temperature, boys. Wow. Normally, mama makes around 40 centimeters. If we change the depth, we can control the gender. Ah, okay. If we keep more than 40, 40 centimeters, we can produce more boys. So the egg is genderless. Less than 30, 40 centimeters. Wow. More girls. So do you ever sometimes like if you think you want more boys, do you just put it deeper? Yeah. Yes. Wow. It means uh, in the monsoon time, probably uh, there are some uh, boys mm. in the in the good season like this, more girls. Oh. Okay. And even in Sri Lanka, yeah. more girls. Wow. Tropical. Just luck and draw power. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Good beach here, yeah. long beach, beach are coming for the eggs. Mm -hmm. And there is a turtle rescue center as well. The injured turtles, sick turtles are being treated here and released back to the sea with the recovery. So, you know, in Sri Lanka, too much fishing activities. That's yeah. a big problem. They stop on fish net, accident, mm -hmm. attack, motorboat propeller. Some people intentionally attack them for the meat, for the shell. The noble people come to here when they wash into the beach as a sick one, injured one, then we go and bring here. Some mm -hmm. of them bring here generously. They are given fully uh, treatments. Mm -hmm. With the recovery 100%, they are being released back to the sea. Mm. So these are all the ones you have rescued now? Ones. Rescued ones. Is it illegal to uh, eat the eggs or the... the Completely illegal by the law in Sri Lanka. It's legal? Completely legal. Illegal. 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 So not legal. Yeah. Okay. Not allowed at all. Okay. But, but people still do it. But hard to control that yeah. because things are happen at night. Yeah. Yeah. There is a big freedom for the people on the beach. So Isolation beaches yeah. around the country. Currently, there are no eggs. Uh, some eggs, but we did, did not put the sign. Huh? Yeah. Normally, in the in the uh, in the, when the uh, tourists come, we have we had we had a properly managed yeah. with the staff. Now, uh, because of the pandemic, yeah, everything was collapsed. Yeah. When was the last time you had? How many tourists have you had last month? Uh, very few. No tourists at all. Wow. Only okay. some uh, local tourists. Yeah. Okay. Some. some. Do you think local tourists or Shalakas are interested in coming? Very interested. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Alright, our local Sri Lanka tourists watching this. This guy seems like a good guy. Seems like a good place. <laughs> so, if you want to come check out the turtles, come, come see this one. Or come look at the other ones. Just don't go support that lady. Let's go check out some of these turtles now. I'm curious why they're here. What green turtles? Oh, yeah. The green turtles are a little bit smaller than the other backs, right? Uh, three, three, years old. three years old. Three years old. Can I touch? Yes. Come here, guys. You like oh, you can hold one. No, it's okay. I'm scared. Come here. He's stuck in the corner. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey. Hi. So where, where did these turtles come from? Uh, they uh, we have people bring here. Okay. They come to us, then we go and bring. They when they know they when they stop on fish and egg, uh -huh. they stop like that. Then they get badly bruising. Okay. With, with, uh, with the skin. Uh huh. Now they get in better healing. Okay. We release uh, two big ones this month already. Uh huh. Like a hospital, we get the new ones, we come and release. Okay. So he was saying that they get to two hundred thirty kilos. kilos. 
So combined, I think we are 230. Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> yes. 110? How many kilos are you? I am uh, around uh, 90. So 200 kilos between us. <laughs> About the size of one of these uh, turtles. <laughs> Too much uh, rice and curry, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Missy. Missy's longer. Oh. They're not ready to swim yet. Oh no. This is, yeah, these are the sick babies. Yeah, oh, that one's nice. Yeah, he's getting strong. That he's one's strong. ready to go. Okay. <laughs> Shan, these are the babies. The Mika babies. The Mika babies, one. we keep longer. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, like they, these look really weak. Cute. Hey, little big turtle. Like Normally, this one's not moving uh, at all. Uh, uh, coming with, coming months, we'll be busy. Yeah. Some days, we'll be really busy. Right. Yeah. Hundreds of babies, thousands yeah. of babies. That would be nice to see. You can have see the pictures, uh, videos in our website. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, the, in the pandemic time, we uh -huh. release thousands of thousands of babies. Wow. Not so like for example, like like these two big ones, like I understand this one's too small, but like this one looks good. When, yeah. do, you, we'll when do you decide? Probably uh, uh, in next, next weeks we can release. Okay. When they get strong. But always at night? Uh, yes. Okay. We must release them in the evening when the sun goes down. Mm better protection. Okay, Some nice. of them are really not moving, no? Until yeah. this, this naughty one bumps into them, they won't move. I know. And, and, and what do you feed these turtles, these babies? Uh, fish, little pieces of fish. Oh, fish. little ones. Yeah. Like, uh, what, what is that? That dried fish that, uh... Uh, <laughs> that, we that we ate raw? That we ate raw? What is that called again? Sprats? 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 Yeah, yeah. Sprats? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This one? He's a big... So on, uh, what about propeller? Oh, oh yeah. they are hit by propeller. What kind of uh, uh, olive tree? The smallest sea turtle in the world. They get 50 kilos. Uh, it's so big. Oh, so one of, one you're of, missing uh, the. Uh, now we, we oh my a, god. After repairing the tank, uh, we put the other one, the bigger one, into other tank. Okay. okay. They have enough space. Yeah. Now, no enough space. Tomorrow morning, we have to change the water anyway. There is a water leak in as well here. Oh, no. Now we uh, repair in this time. Mm. So you need to fix that one, yes. and one fix, fix this one. Okay. So that, that's the clipper that's missing or what? So this was missing, missing an entire limb. So sad. Oh my god. And this one also. These boats. These boats are just destroying these guys. Chanel's really loving. <laughs> <laughs> These turtles. They're really cute. Yeah, this one actually looks like it, it actually likes it when you scratch his back. Yeah, hey. I mean, give this one that algae for him. Yeah, look at this. So much algae. Yeah. Hey, turtle, turtle. Do you think if I put this jellyfish in the water, it'll think it's uh, <laughs> it'll try to bite it? <laughs> Oh, he almost gave me a high five. Okay. High, Such you can cutie. see that this one shell missing. Yeah, oh. fractures, it's very damaged. Now so they they've got made a hit. Progress with the recovery. Mm. They want to go. They're like, get me out. <laughs> they expect food from us. Yeah. Ah, that's it. Oh, is that why? Okay. And you also feed them fish? Yeah. Fish and plants. Okay, but they eat fish and sea plants. Other sea mainly fish. Okay. Oh, so all of them have been like damaged somehow, or? Yeah. Okay. Fractures, uh, bruising. Okay. And when when do you expect you can release them? When the uh, vet assures the recovery 100%, uh -huh. we send them back. Oh, nice. My life department come and make the tag and release. Oh, they tag it first. Oh, nice. How many? Do you know how many turtles are in Sri Lanka? Uh, 
in, in the RSA wild? amount, but uh -huh. we have, but they are facing extinction anyway. Uh -huh. Because of the people activities, we need okay. eggs and uh, eating meat, you know, worldwide, and harvesting for mm -hmm. the shells. Yeah. Of course, for extinction. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. So, probably none of you watching are doing this, but stop eating turtle eggs. If you know anyone, you see anyone doing it, or turtle meat, there's no reason to. Get some chicken eggs, they're cheap. They're like 16 rupees an egg, maybe 20. If you really are hungry, I'll buy you some chicken eggs, all right, or some chicken. Uh, don't, don't eat the turtle eggs. And don't collect the shells, and as tourists, do not buy turtle shell products because by people buying them, it's encouraging you know, locals to go hunt turtles and create them uh, to sell. So the best way for us to stop this trade is for us to stop buying it. This uh, big guy, what kind of turtle is it? Loggerhead, he's really big. Yeah, well, different big. Yeah. He's beautiful. Yeah. See, very young. This one's young. Very young. Oh wow. And wh why is this one uh, not moving, or why is he here? Resting now. Relax. He's just sleeping. Relax. Okay. We have to change the water tomorrow morning. Okay. Water once a week. Okay. Once a day water at the moment. They all love it. They have very big head with a pair of large muscular jaws. Oh. That's why they got this name as a loggerhead. Okay. Nice. They get one point five meters long. Yeah. One hundred eighty kilos. Big ones. Yeah. Okay. And these, uh, why are they waiting here? This, you can see the white spots on the neck, on the flippers, and the bruising, the skins. The white spot, oh, like that. The island fishy necks. Oh, okay. The neck swelling, the body. Yeah. And they okay. are given the injections to bring down swelling. Okay, nice. Getting better, would promise you the recovery. Okay, oh, I'm so happy to hear that, yeah. So this place seems like really reputable, like, a, like guys that actually know what they're talking about, they care, they're releasing the turtles after they are healthy uh, and never really asked us for money besides the, the normal you know, thousand would be a person uh, ticket price, the minimum price. So I'm happy to support these guys. I would give it my Johnny recommendation if you want. Uh, come to this one. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the name of it below or it's also in the description. And it sucks, but I'm gonna have to ask everyone not to support the one in Gaul, the one that Harold accidentally made famous because Maybe she used to be a good you know, place that cared about the turtles, but now she's just caring about the money and she's being greedy, so uh, I can't support that. I hope you guys don't either. This place does have a donation box, so I'm gonna put a small donation in, but this is the way to do it. Like, if you want people to donate, have a box. Give, you know, show that you care about the animals and the turtles, that people will put money in. And if every single tourist puts in five or 10 bucks, then, uh, you know, it'll add up, especially as tourism opens back up again and more people come here because they know it's a good place where they care about the animals and they care about the animals more than they care about money. So let's all chip in a little bit, you know, but I don't think it's a good idea to give any one business a thousand dollars at a time or 200,000 rupees because they might start expecting that from others. Uh, so there's some there was some bruising like these these white spots are supposedly like bruising. It says it's really swollen before. Oh really? It's probably from fishing nets. Oh right. Favorite one? Like, this one or this one? Yeah. I mean both of them, but like this one especially, just like this shell powder and the colors. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at this big head. It's kind of like the pit bull. It's like the pit bull of turtles. That little baby one's cute too. Yeah, yeah, they can feel you. I don't. I don't think they care that much, to be honest. I, I know some people are gonna comment saying don't touch the turtles, mm -hmm. but like if you're like scratching a shell a little bit, like I think he likes it. Yeah, I don't like. It's not. It's not hurting the turtle. I'm not like grabbing his face or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're beautiful. But yeah, in general, don't t don't touch wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> So Shihan turns out to be a bit of a turtle rescuer himself. <laughs> well, what's going on here? So we do this project project called Itswella Beach where we clean up the beach in uh, Bellavata, Colombo. And one day while I was running in the morning, I found this guy stuck in between the rocks. Uh -huh. And so then we just called the Navy and a bunch of people came. And we let the guy free. Good job, buddy. Yeah, job. and then like, I think 
a week later, we found eggs on the beach. This is in Colombo. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? Yeah, and so the Navy came and cordoned it off and they hatched and then they sent them out. It was pretty cool. I think they hatched just as the virus came about. Wow. So I can go check it out. But yeah. yeah, it was really. Yeah. I mean, Good How job. Cool so you can check, follow It's Wella Beach. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a community beach cleanup project. It's the first of its kind and it's now been replicated in other parts around the island. Uh-huh. It's pretty cool. Like Everything's it. done by Instagram. I support. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's funny was we were supposed to go to the Kogalon as arranged with the hotel but we actually accidentally went to the Colorado location but I'm happy we came here because this guy they've been in business for 28 years and I really like them yeah. <laughs> like look at the sunset it's so perfect so beautiful even yesterday was so stunning yeah I can't believe you get to see this Every day. This shot right here, her walking with her surfboard, you having your cocktail, it's like... The definition of the South Coast. Definition of Sri Lanka. Cheers to that. Cheers.